White-tailed deer have always been an integral component of human culture for food, clothing, sport, and tools for daily life. At one point in our history, populations of white-tailed deer had been decimated and were at a frightening all-time low, hovering around only 500,000 bucks and does left in the nation. Thanks to immense conservation efforts led by hunters and wildlife enthusiasts alike, which included passing legislation and enacting wildlife management programs, white-tailed deer populations have recovered, and they're now the most sought-after game animal in North America, with nearly 30 million whitetails roaming across the nation. They're hunted with a wide range of methods and in a variety of locations, starting in the late summer when the deer are still in velvet and going into the cold of winter when the bucks are duking it out in the rut. When you consider your hunting style, your options are seemingly endless. You can set up in a pop-up blind, a ground blind, a box blind, tree stands, or even situate yourself on the edge of a bluff and look out across the vast area of land. You can also take part in the occasional spot and stalk for a whitetail. As you think about how you want to set up your hunt, you'll want to consider your methods for harvesting this prized game animal. A great aspect about hunting whitetail is they can be hunted with just about any firearm or bow you desire, ranging from handguns, shotguns, and rifles to compound bows and crossbows. Just be sure to check with your state regulations, as hunting seasons and rules for what can be used to harvest a deer during certain times of deer season can vary from state to state. The classic characteristics of a whitetail are hard to miss. Aptly named, the white-tailed deer gets its name from the white fur on the underside of their tail, which acts as a raised flag when alarmed. White-tailed deer are small to medium-sized deer, with their height ranging from 32 to 36 inches at the shoulder and does weighing in anywhere between 80 to 140 pounds, with the bucks weighing in at 100 to 250 pounds, depending mostly on the home range of the deer. Their overall size can also be dependent on their access to nutritious food sources. Being herbivores, their diets typically consist of grasses, twigs, nuts and fruits, corn, and various flowering plants. Whitetails can typically be found in densely brushy wooded areas, providing them ample coverage from predators. However, they can and have adjusted to many areas based on urban expansion. For a lot of hunters, simply being in the moment can make all the difference in their hunting experience. You can chase a lot of deer, you can pass on a lot of deer that other people would take, and you can take a deer that others would pass on. That's the wonderful thing about hunting whitetail deer. So many people can find something about a whitetail that gets them excited and gets their heart pounding. Sometimes it's the uniqueness of a majestic set of antlers that will inspire stories to tell your friends and families for years to come. And other times, it may be the sheer knowledge that you're filling the freezer and putting food on the table. White-tailed deer can be an incredibly challenging and highly rewarding hunt. And when you have a chance to take one of these deer, whether it's your first deer or your 100th deer, the excitement is like none other and you'll walk away with a lifetime's worth of memories to cherish.